Hello Umut here, welcome to another video. Today I took out some neglected uh, supplies from my stash including this beautiful uh, scrapbook paper from 49 and Market and I'm going to create an art journal with it. It's from a scrapbook uh, set uh, that's called Flower Fairies of Spring but uh, I bought it as, a, as an only paper, uh, as a separate paper. Uh, and uh, I bought it uh, some time ago, it's been uh, probably like a couple of years and it was just sitting in my stash. I thought it's a beautiful uh, scenery with a flower fairy and a subtle uh, colors where the yellow pops. So I'm going to just cut this in, in a way that uh, I can place it on my art journal. And my art journal is Moleskin. Uh, I always tell a Moleskin sketchbook. Uh, as you see, I'm just fussy cutting it uh, to have the image only in a, in a way that I can create a background scenery uh, behind it. It's been a long time. I'm not buying scrapbook papers because I have uh, so many and I'm just trying to use them before I buy new ones. And I'm sure all of you have uh, some uh, stash that's waiting to be used. As you see it perfectly fits uh, into my art journal and now I'm going to uh, create the background. I took this stencil from uh, Stamperia and uh, it has butterflies on it. My aim is to use my uh, Distress Resist Spray and uh, create some images at the back uh, that will create a soft background. Unfortunately my nozzle clogged. Uh, it happens I guess uh, because this is glue when you heat set it and uh, you need to use it carefully I need to get a new nozzle but uh, in the meantime I can use it with my sponge I just take a little bit uh, from the bottle and uh, go over my stencil with this finger dabber and I uh, heat set it afterwards you can easily also use your uh, clear embossing uh, techniques uh, to create these uh, background images that will just be there and uh, subtle. Uh, so now uh, I went back to uh, uh, all these but gold these technique using my distress inks to create my background. You will see the colors I'm using while I'm using them. I have the minis uh, in a full set uh, because they are more economical and basically the same and they are too cute. So I'm using my uh, sponge, uh, sponge dabber uh, to just uh, go around it uh, and uh, apply to the whole page and I'm going to build some colors uh, eventually. And as you see the butterflies uh, are just at the background very, creating a very subtle uh, scenery. Um, as I guessed, uh, as, as I said you can also emboss them with a clear embossing powder and it would look the same. Uh, they would resist the uh, inks and uh, create a nice imagery. I also recently caved and bought the Distress Oxide sprays. Uh, I was saying I have the inks, do I need the sprays? But uh, seeing the beautiful effects I couldn't resist anymore and I bought them. I'm not going to use them in this video but uh, I, I certainly played with them uh, and I love them. Uh, so you will see videos uh, coming from me soon using the oxides. Now that I completed my uh, background, I just splashed some water and uh, dabbed it off with a kitchen towel. And I used my Penny Black uh, stamp set. Uh, this is the script stamp, my favorite script stamp. Uh, with the uh, hickory smoke uh, colors uh, to create more interest at the back. Before sticking down your fussy cuttings, uh, don't forget to go around the edges with a black marker uh, as I did. Uh, then your mistakes won't be showing uh, and also you won't have the white edges and your images will look more integrated. Uh, I'm just uh, sticking this down with matte medium uh, and also going over the image with matte medium as well in case I want to do shading. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite stencils from Tim Holtz. I love this stencil because it's uh, I use it again and again and uh, it's very versatile. I love the effect that I can create with them, the rays. I'm going to give you the link down below uh, 
in case you are interested. I'm using my Faber-Castell Gelato uh, going over this uh, stencil and smudging it with my finger to create some uh, effect of sun rays coming uh, from the sky. I am mixing two colors. One is a dark yellow, one is a light yellow uh, to create a more uh, realistic uh, view of the sun. And I am smudging it with my finger after I take the stencil so that it doesn't look like it's cut down and the rays uh, extend uh, further. I use this technique in one more art journal which uh, actually is very popular. Uh, so I'm going to put it in the cards and link it down below as well if you want to see it. You can uh, create this sun with your paints as well. Uh, I just found it easier to do with gelatos, easily smudging with my fingers. And I, am, uh, I did the shading around the uh, image uh, with uh, my Distress ink, which was the darkest color, Hickory Smoke. Uh, because uh, the background is inked and my uh, paper is still uh, porous, uh, so I couldn't use my... Um, Faber Castell uh, brush, uh, brush pens as I normally do. Uh, they will just uh, be soaked in and stay there. So I used my darker ink to with a little finger dabber to do the shading. And now I'm going to uh, go with the sentiment. This is Concord and Knight, a sophisticated uh, script. And I will give you the link down below again to it because it's so beautiful. Uh, and I managed to find it. Uh, when you stamp it next to each other, it looks like handwriting and connects uh, with each other. And it really is uh, sophisticated as uh, the name suggests uh, and uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to stamp uh, two words uh, to highlight them with this uh, stamp set. And I am using my Dowcraft uh, little uh, wooden uh, alphabet set to write the rest of it. It's uh, use your wings, see the world. Uh, and uh, this beautiful leaf stamp was included in the Concordant 9th alphabet set. So I decided to use it with my black uh, archival ink and stamp it here and there. I thought it looked uh, very elegant and uh, goes with my page uh, very well. And before I call it done, I did some uh, little black splashes as well, as you see. Uh, and I really love the page. I love the subtle uh, colors, uh, the earthy colors and how yellow pops over them. Uh, the black splashes really completed and brought everything together. And the leaves kind of created a, a border. And of course, I love the scrapbook uh, image. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please don't forget to uh, leave me a comment, like or subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me over Instagram because I put a lot of sneak peeks, uh, what I am up to, my current project. I would love to see you there as well. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.